Cortez is ready. And let's do it here in the Bronx. First pitch upstairs, 1-0. and We're underway. Drack at first, Chris Guccione at second, Dan Iasonia is at third. So, Trevino behind the plate, Cortez on the mound. Two and one. Let me get you uh, the, the correct umpires because they changed it. So, Von Track is not umpiring in this game. There's a strike. All right, man. Strike three. Ward down looking. So, this guy, the Otani rule. And they passed it because he had an awful start. He remains as a DH. And there's only one guy that affects. That's why it's the Shohei Otani rule. One and one. Here on June 30th, Yankees really got to him. There's a strike. Just missed. And Cortez deals. Grounded sharply to second. Torres down to one knee. And he gets Otani for the second out. Remarkable at this early stage. And the pitch to Trout is a strike. East 10 homers, 25 ribbies, a 317 batting average. And it's a normal year for him. <laughs> Pretty much. He couldn't hold up. One and two. On left side. Still one and two. The hitting's been fine. The pitching has kind of gone south. Missed inside with the cutter. Two and two. On deck. 3 2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with the cutter. Yeah, just. just. There's Matt Duffy leading off the second. And the pitch from Cortez is a strike. The yard. 0 oh 2. One, two. You know, it was a great um, story in the athlete. It happened, especially with the way the bullpen is right now. And uh, that one's up the middle. Grabbed by Torres. He fires the first. But Rizzo can't come up with the scoop. It gets away, and Duffy will reach. The, the starters go deeper. It's a great point and a great article by Lindsey Adler. I agree, Michael. And if you just look at the data throughout the course of a year, trying to pitch through October, it's a different story. It's more of an art than it is a science. And that's the point. Your miles an hour. Ranifo pops it up. What I found really interesting. At third time through the order against the starter. Swing and a miss. Ranifo down on strikes. Well, after two, making adjustments. Having that third pitch. Nestor Cortez talked about that in his last. I mean, with the leverage of the Yankees now having a great bullpen, you know, they can't afford to go seven. Would be easier job for the bullpen. He didn't line up last night in the rained out game, but he's in there today against Cortez with Otani pitching. One man out, three strikeouts already for Cortez. Now four. Stassi down looking. Walsh hits one sharply and under the glove of the diving Marwin Gonzalez. So a base hit for Walsh as double pitches so far for Cortez. And he said, honestly, I know we have reasons for everything. This one, that Two and one. Yeah, I think it's a different story on the Angels side. 
Now there is rain in the forecast for a lot of the day and, and boom. Three and two on Lagara, so that's going to release. Three, two. And he walks him to load the bases. So Cortez getting into trouble here in the second inning. Now day night doubleheader. Chop foul. The 0 1. Swing and a miss 0 and 2. The 0 2. Grounded and grabbed by Rizzo. Gets to his feet and beats Velasquez to the bag. Ward will lead off. Foul back to the screen. 0 and 1. The White Sox on May 22nd. Five ball shallow center. Judge makes the play. Otani swings at the first pitch and pops it up. Marwin Gonzalez on the back pedal with the second out. Right down the shooter again. 1 0 on Trout. Rip foul. Cortez wanted that one. All the way across the plate, just missing in. And Trout works a walk. Second walk for Cortez. And the pitch to Duffy is a strike. Reached on an infield hit, leading off the second. 0 and 2. Foul back. Served into right field. It's a base hit in front of Gallo. He was charging, thinking about making the play at first. But he just flips. Ranifo struck out in the second. Grounds that one. Foul. Just foul. The 0 1. Nubbed in front of the plate. Trevino makes the play as Cortez. And they'll try to have another big game tonight. As Stassi swings in. One and two. For the velocity. That Otani does, but still getting the Angels to swing and miss, and Otani is struggling off rhythm and timing. The 2 2 popped up. Rizzo drifts back in foul territory over the shoulder, makes the play. One away. Effective. Times for Nestor today. They're not being aggressive with him right now. Walsh down on strikes. Strikeout number five for Cortez. Peter, you know he's attacking you with a fastball. You have to go there swinging the bat like what Lagares did right here. You have to be able to go out there with a plan because you know you're getting a pitch to hit early in count. Learning count, you know. So you want to really attack him the first two pitches of exactly. Yeah, just, just what Lagares did. Lagares rips one down the left field line, goes up against the wall, fielded out there by Hicks, and Juan Lagares picks up a two out double. By Rizzo to end the second inning. As the Angels have the bases loaded in two outs, a big play. Trying to do against him and making adjustments. Fly ball, right field. Gallo makes the play, and that'll do it. No runs to hit. The uh, great head of the uh, Yankee grounds crew, Danny Cunningham, had the iPad out and was talking to Dan Iasonia, the crew chief. That's never goes where you could laugh. Uh, 
that's usually, well, this is what's coming. This is when it's going to happen. And we told you there's rain in the forecast. And if you look over the left field grandstand right now, it looks. So you have to get this half inning in to make it an official game with the Yankees in the lead. Swing and a miss. Michael, do you think how you leave? <laughs> That's great. Unbelievable. We're big in the 305. Otani swings and misses. David, how odd is this? You get lifted from a game and you're still in the game? Nobody like him and representing High Leah right there. One and two. Doesn't Nestor have a, uh, some ink like 305 on his arm? Nestor ink. But so far, David, he follows. 2-2. Two, two. Foul back. Like to ice even back in the 90s. Lined into center field. It's a base hit in front of Judge. Did you not ice because you didn't like the feel or you didn't think it did anything for you? Yeah, I wasn't wasn't convinced, uh, you know, that it did anything, especially right after a game. These days. Pitch to Trout as a strike. I agree with you. I mean, like <laughs> thinking, I got you, buddy. Well, he looks like he has a good time on the mound. One and two. Strike three. Trout down looking. Seven strikeouts at five. Duffy to lead off the sixth inning. High fly ball, deep left. And Hicks makes the play. Now, I think because it's happening right in front of us on a daily basis, you know, got hit. There's a ground ball to LeMayu. I don't know if he's not just getting by. He's absolutely dominating on the mound. And an easy one, two, three inning here in the sixth. The story continues. Bottom third of the order. Here's Walsh. Lined. Oh, a backhand stop by Rizzo. Throw to first. They got him. Ten a pitcher, too. I love the fact that he's smiling at Rizzo like, hey, man, you know what? I'm here. How could you not? Defying the skeptics, showing the teams, including the Yankees, that released you that they were wrong. 93 pitches for Cortez, the one two. Gallo in right field puts it away. He puts the hitters on the defensive. Another first pitch strike. If you're in the box, you know this, Carlos. You know throwing strikes, man. You, you get out of your game a little bit. And David, also, what about being too fast? That one has popped to Rizzo on another quick inning, and David will answer.